Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is WarriorDogSec, back with another video for you guys. Hope you're all having an awesome day today. Today's video, we're going to cover this article from Bleepy Computer, and it says, Malicious PowerShell script pushing malware looks AI written. Oh no, AI is taking over the world. We got Skynet coming, folks. Well, is it? Is it really? Let's get into it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Hey everybody, just a quick little blurb here. As you can see here, most people that view my channel are not subscribers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're enjoying the video, please consider hitting the like button. It helps get me in the algorithm, helps spread the good word out there, helps bring more people and increase our glorious community here. All right, I'm all about helping out others. I know what it's like to come up in cybersecurity or even try to get into cybersecurity and not knowing where to look. I'm just having this channel up so I can help out other people. All right, that's all I got. A third actor is using a PowerShell script that was likely created with the help of artificial intelligence systems such as OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, or Microsoft's Copilot. The adversary used the script in an email campaign in March that targeted tens of organizations in Germany to deliver the Radamanthus Information Stiller, AI-based PowerShell deploys info stiller. Let's get into it here. Researchers at cybersecurity company Proofpoint attributed the attack to a threat actor tracked as TA547, believed to be an initial access broker, IAB. TA547, also known as Scully Spider, has been active since at least 2017, delivering a variety of malware for Windows. And you have them listed out there and Android listed out there again. Recently, the threat actor started using the Radamanthus modular stiller that constantly expands its data collection capabilities, clipboard browser cookies. As always, cyber threat actors are always constantly trying to improve the efficiency of their products and services. The info stiller has been distributed uh, since September 2022 to multiple cybercrime groups under the malware service model. According to Proofpoint researchers, TA547 impersonated the Metro Cash and Carry German brand in a recent email campaign using invoices as a lure for dozens of organizations across various industries in Germany. And it's got an example of the phishing email. And if you've been paying attention to the AI buzz that's been going around, and you probably came across something like this. Threat actors have been using AI to generate more legitimate looking phishing emails and using those in phishing attacks. Now let's continue on here. The messages included a zip archive protected with the password mar26, which contained a malicious shortcut file .lnk, which is commonly used these days for uh, malicious attacks. Assessing the shortcut file triggered PowerShell to run a remote script, and it says the PowerShell script decoded the base64 encoded Radamantis, um executable file stored in a variable and loaded as an assembly into memory, and then executed the entry point of the assembly. The researcher explained that this method allowed the malicious code to be executed in memory without touching the disk. Awesome. Analyzing the PowerShell script that loaded Radamantis, the researchers noticed that it included a pound or hash sign followed by specific comments for each component which are uncommon in human created code. And here's an example of what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. When I created a little script with Copilot, I said, hey, I need a network scanner that allows me to scan the network for assets on my network or whatever right and it generated something look just like this it had every little component listed out and it had comments listed out in there right the hashtags pounds whatever you want to call them that's continue on here the researchers say that these characteristics are typical to code originating from generative ai solutions like ChatGPT, gemini or copilot while they cannot be absolutely certain that the powershell code came from the large language model LLM solution. The researchers say that the script content suggests the possibility of TA547 using generative AI for writing or rewriting the PowerShell script. Leaping Computer used ChatGPT4 to create a similar PowerShell script and the output uh, code looked like the one seen by Prepoint, including variable names and comments. Further indicating it is likely that AI was used to generate the script. And that's an example of what it looks like here. It looks very similar to what we saw up above. Another theory is that they copied it from a source that relied on generative AI for coding. Regardless, I mean, this does really look like they just went to ChatGPT or Copilot or something and got the code from there, or they stole it from somebody that used one of these technologies. AI for malicious activities, it's just going 
and just reinstates that um, you know chat GPT is being abused by threat actors to conduct malicious activities phishing emails network scans identify vulnerabilities etc cetera, etc cetera. and it says nation-state actors associated with China Iran Russia have turned to generative AI to improve productivity when researching targets yada 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 of course no shocker there why not why wouldn't they use it you know why wouldn't they I'm guaranteed the United States is probably using this as well and it says in mid-January or February, OpenAI announced it blocked several accounts associated with state-sponsored hacking groups from China, Iran, North Korea, Russia, shocker. As most large language learning modules models attempt to restrict output, it could be used for malware or malicious behavior. Threat actors have launched their own AI platforms for cyber criminals. And there's ways to get past it. Like I said, all you have to do is say like, hey, I need... A network scanner written in Python or PowerShell that I can use to scan my network in order to create an asset inventory of assets on my network, whatever, right? Now you just generate a network scanner in a script format. Like I said, I've played around with Copilot and generating various different scripts in PowerShell. I also think I did one in Python, but the ones generated in PowerShell, they kind of worked. Some of them did not work. Um, it might take a couple of tweaking to get it working properly, but we can take a look at that here shortly. All right, let's take a quick look at these PowerShell scripts that I used Copilot to generate for me. And as you can see here, it looks very similar to those screenshot snippets from the news article. You see the pound signs here, and you got things commented out for each little section here, right? Get user input, for target port range, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Now let's go ahead and try to run this. I haven't made any modifications to this at all. All right, Control V. See what it does here. Let's do, I guess, one through um, ten, twenty-four. Enter, and you can see it's it's kind of working, right? You have to go back and fix some things in it, but let's go ahead and continue here. Clear this out. Go to this next one here. Same thing. See what it does. Let's see, it's running. Doing a ping test, it looks like. And let's see if it actually completes. See, it's taking a while. It's very slow. When I did these prompts, I wasn't like too detailed with them. And let's see here. It says warning, blah blah blah, failed, failed, yada yada yada. See, not it's not very intuitive, right? So you have to do some modifications to make it work properly, or even get the information that you're seeking. And you gotta be probably very detailed when it comes to the prompts. Like I said, I was just testing it out. But this is just like a POC, I guess, of what you can possibly do with these AI technologies, right? And this one doesn't even work, right? So there you go. And if you enjoyed this video and you're new here, please consider subscribing. You can hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. If you enjoyed the content, hit that like button. It helps get me in the algorithm and share the good knowledge out there. It helps increase our glorious community here. Go ahead and share it if you wish. Comment below your thoughts and opinions. Have you utilized this AI technology to help you in your career? If you have, please let us know in the comment sections. As always, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and I will see you later.